we need you to get us clearer copies. Except Auditor General, if you have, if they submitted a clearer uh, copy to you, maybe you make uh, them available to us. But what, with what we have here, they are not clear. They are not clear. And uh, this uh, point, these places are actually the payment vouchers. They were supposed to actually look at them critically. They are, they are, the, pay, they are the payment vouchers. Of course, they are the payment vouchers. Can you page eight, page 14. get us clearer copies of this attachment? Thank you. Okay, thank you, Chairman, uh, respected colleagues. Uh, uh, it is very clear, Chairman. It is very clear, Chairman, that we we cannot work with this document. Is there? It's very clear that we cannot work with this document. But before then, huh, I, I just want to find out from the NPC because when they started, they started saying that all the documents that Auditor General complain of are all here. Yeah. And beyond being here, they are in the original form. That's what they told us. So my question is that at what point, because of where this infraction was raised, was raised, uh, as at the time this infraction was raised, what did NLPC do uh, as at that time? As at the time this infraction you know, came up from the general. So what did you do I, as at that time? I, I, I did it was a, general, was a general audit. Maybe the documents were provided to the auditors and they, they could not, because there are so many documents, they couldn't, you know, uh, uh, get their hand on that on that very document, and that is why now we are bringing it for them to see. And we have the original. I believe uh, the people that work with them must have given them those original uh, 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 documents, since we have them. If they, if we don't have the document, there is no way the original can come to us now and to show you that we have we have no, the document. No, 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 what I'm saying here, because I, I, I do know that the practice here is that when an infraction is raised, they bring it to your notice. Yes. And then given the time to, you know, respond. Yes. And then when you now fail to respond, then they then will now have another report. So what happened between that time that this infraction was raised and the time that is not recorded report? I said, I said, we have made submission to the auditors. We have submitted so many documents to the auditors. And maybe this one is, an, is something that they have, uh, like I said, maybe oversight on them, or the documents were too much for them, that they could not see that one. But it's here with us. Auditor General. They can look at the document. Chair and members of this uh, local committee, from the observation raised by Transpo, it was from the document submitted. Like, if you look at the computer printout, I wouldn't know because the question was raised as to where for the, the, the payment voucher. And that document, on pages 3, 8, 14, 17, 22, 27, 30, 33, 38. Mm -hmm. 43, 46, 49, 54, 60, 63, 68, and 73. They were, they, they were the same thing, more or less a computer printout. Do we infer that such, that document was the payment voucher? Yes, and you cannot make any meaningful or informed judgment based on they, they, were, they were not legible. So there's no informed judgment one can make from there. And from your statement, that we normally give a window of opportunity after an audit assignment. After briefing, the, 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 the report will be submitted to you for you to respond. There's a window of opportunity. And I don't think from our own end, there was no, there was no response from you. If there were responses, there's no way to enter into this uh, report. There's no way. It will not. And that's why I'm admitting to the fact of the honorary government. Thank you, Mr. General. And secondly, sir, the payment voucher cannot substitute, uh, cannot be substituted for memo. Majority of those in our memo, and memo comes before the payment voucher. So, the two yeah. are not working together, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. But they are yeah. not clear. 
in the photocopy or the original? The original is clear. The ones submitted to us, they are not clear. The original submitted to you? The ones submitted to members are not clear. Okay, we are, we, we... Okay, what that is to do? That, that, that is the reason why, what informed us to bring the original for you to see. NMPC, um, did you say anything about it? <laughs> Honorable member, yeah, separate, uh, this thing. Um, the, to all the primary concern was the documentation in support of our payments. Um, statutory deductions, we didn't separate. come with evidence of statutory yeah, deductions separate. because they are separate payments. Yeah, separate payments. Once the deduct deductions are made, they are remitted separately from this payment, so they are not part of this payment. That is why we don't have that evidence here. If evidence are required for statutory deduction, withholding, or file, as the case may be, that will be taken. We will crave your indulgence to take it separately. We need evidence. And honorable colleagues, from the documents submitted to us, it is very clear that uh, the payment vouchers are not clear to members. Um, we need you to get us clearer documents for us to peruse, and if possible, soft copies of this document. Thank you. Group colleagues, any other issue? This is a This is a This is a separate This is a separate This is a separate Chairman, uh, respective colleagues, uh, uh, you know, uh, going by uh, going by what we have observed here, yeah, because given the NMBC themselves could not even read their document, I mean, when the person has to read this page, it was to them they couldn't even read their document. So I move that this document be retracted and be resubmitted to the committee in a proper form so that it will, it will help us do our work at the committee. I say move. Thank you. Uh, Deputy Chairman, I rise to second the motion that this document is retracted and the clearer and the legible copy is submitted to this uh, public account of this prosecutor. We don't have any more Thank you, Honorable colleagues. Yeah. 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 We have the original. Uh, by this, you are hereby requested to submit clearer copies of your documents and of course attachments of statutory deductions and remittances evidence we mean um, on or before Friday to Friday excuse me sir okay let me let's listen to you first please permit us to I want to crave the indulgence of the committee that there are no clearer documents anywhere to provide other than the originals we have here. And which is conscious of how it appeared, we decided to come with the original so that members could take time, if necessary, to look at the original. For instance, the invoices that are there are original. And that no payment can be made without a demand for payment in the form of invoice. So patience will be required, sir. Uh, honorable to look at it, the original document that we have here. That is one. And secondly, the observation of security deduction is outside the, uh, the query of the auditor because the, 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 the demand as submitted to the WCO was that we should defend the audit query. This very observation is outside the audit query. However, the House has the prerogative to decide whatever information you need. Should this information be required, we will require, we will request that a request for it be made because that very request is not part of the query that we're here to answer. Thank you. is incomplete without the relevant deductions and remittances. We are requesting that you submit 
relevant deductions and remittances as it relates these payments. And failure to do that, it is incomplete. You cannot come here and tell us that you cannot submit that. We need it on or before Friday. What's the date? We cannot get it on Friday. 10th of November, 2023. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay, thank you very much. I can see my uh, uh, my friend uh, shaking his head. Uh, what is the point that you are making? Are you saying that uh, for this transaction, those deductions are not uh, material facts? We are, we are not saying that the deductions are not material facts, but the deduction is not part of what is no. what we are asked to bring uh, in the query. No, if yes. excuse me, sir. Okay, chairman. Sorry. You cannot limit us now. You that's cannot that's limit right. the committee. I'll come to that. You see, when you are having an investigation, when you have an investigation, an investigation can lead to anywhere. Yes. Yes. You understand me? An investigation can lead to anywhere, can lead to fresh discoveries. And when there are fresh discoveries, there will be requests for proper documentation, documentation. to explain those discoveries. So don't just uh, and now um, it has been ruled that evidences of such deductions and remittances be provided for the committee as part of the further documentation that you have to submit to this committee. And then, can you, can you open your, just open to page 46. Open your document to page 46. Yeah, because I, I think uh, maybe at my own age, in spite of my using of glasses, I've not been able to. Can you read what you have on page 46 for me there, please? Uh, from Mr. the document submitted? Mr. Chairman. There is no doubt. It is not clear. We are not disputing that that is not that is clear so or is not clear. Even you can't read yes, it. That's what I'm saying. And that is what informed us to bring the original document for you to cite. Because this thing, this this what we gave you was produced from the originals. But as as you said now, we go we we'll go back and see all the ones that are not cleared. We'll be able to make them clear. All right. There's no because, dispute. Because, Some of these are not clear. They, I'm not sure you want to drop your original copy in the custody of the public account committee. Is that your plan? No, 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 no. It's for okay. it's for, it's so, for so, citing. It's for so, citing. Yeah, I understand. So what we have in the original, yeah. let us. Um, I mean, what we have in the copy submitted to us, let it be very legible, so that we can relate uh, to them. In addition, in addition, please, because when we started, I only asked you. You have only mentioned two uh, documents that are uh, mandatory, if I may say, to this transaction. We have only gotten to two documents, and we're, we're interrogating the second document, where the, you spoke about the letter of agreement, and then the certificate or letter um, that is issued by the Nigerian Navy. You need to also give us a list of documents that ordinarily will be required for a transaction of this nature on a page. Just, just itemize the list of the documents. In a transaction of this nature, these are the documents required. And then provide evidence of those documents having been issued as at the time of the award of this contract and as at the time of the payment. You understand what I'm saying, sir? Uh, make sure that you have those copies. Do you think it's Friday okay for? Can, are you sure you can meet up with Friday? Two two weeks. Uh, you have the you have the. Mr. You are requesting for two weeks. Yes. That's we, your request. Yes. We have we are, is we have a lot of we have other things so we cannot just say one day or two days. If you can give us ample time, we we'll go and make this thing available. Make uh, get all these things ready and come back. You you need you want us to present something. Uh, yeah. GEO, I, I can study the language of the members. I'm not sure members are ready to grant you two weeks, but I mean, I can plead yeah. that uh, instead of Friday, today is Tuesday. Instead of Friday, if members can graciously give you one week, which will mean uh, Tuesday of next week, which will be 14th. Um, 
or they are about? When is it? If if members who want us to give them. Next Friday. Yeah, that's true. If the originals are with you, you are just to produce. Because there's, there's absolutely nothing new that we're asking you, apart from the thing that we have asked you before. We are only ask, asking you to make clearer copies of, uh, of those documents. Uh, what do we call it? Can we then give them Monday? Can we, can we give them Monday? So uh, we expect that you submit copies of this document in a very legible format, latest by the close of work on Monday 13th of uh, November 2023. Um, NLPC, I think uh, we are done with you. you. You have another comment? Yeah, yes. I want to claim your indulgence uh, to increase the time for us. No, we have, we have Mr. Ruled. Chairman has ruled. Excuse me. Don't I, go I, back to that. We have Mr. Ruled Chairman has ruled. Only a member here can raise a motion for a rescission of that decision. I hope, I hope a member will help us. Mr. Chairman, because as it's, it's, it's very critical. As 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 at G the moment, G uh, yeah, yeah, I want. You, you said you have the originals of all these documents with you. Is that correct? Yes. Did you say that? Yes. So what we're and just asking for you to do. The only other thing I've only asked now is just a list, which we can, which you can do in thirty minutes. So there's no other fresh document being asked of you. Please, that has been ruled upon. Monday, 13th of November, submission of those documents, and then we'll communicate the date of appearance to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr.